This video is a demonstration of using the account holder by Pateo report, or AHR. This is really a suite of reports combined to give an account holder an overview of where all their accounts stand. The account holder reports are the university's standard financial report for monitoring all accounts, both sponsored and non-sponsored. The reports provide an income statement, current and prior month detail transactions, commitment details, and a payee trend report. There are two variations of the account holder report, by person and by Pateo. Let's take a look now at the features of the two reports and what differentiates them from each other. First, let's talk about the account holder by person features. The by person version is based on the concept of an account holder, which is defined as an award principal investigator, project manager, or task manager. Upon opening the Reports Parameter Collections tab, the first parameter you'll be asked for is the account holder name. You can choose the name from the drop-down list, or you can search by last name. Departments are asked to periodically review their project and task managers by running the BUG-209A account holder listing in the BUG library. The next parameter is the Pateo parameter, where you can select University All Pateos associated with the account holder, or the Pateo option, which will enable you to pick and choose the accounts to appear on the report. Note that if you choose this latter option, you will need to maintain this list of accounts as the new accounts become assigned to the account holder. An accounting period parameter is not available in the by person version of this report because it is already defined as a current open month report. The report will provide financial information uploaded to the data warehouse at the end of the previous business day. With respect to salaries, the report can be generated with salaries shown in detail or summarize. In contrast, the account holder by Pateo allows the additional option of excluding salaries. Reporting sections that are standard in the by person version of the report are the monthly account summary, current and prior month transactions, and the commitment detail report. Running the trend report is an optional choice. Now we'll take a look at some of the options unique to the account holder by Pateo report. Now let's talk about some of the account holder report by Pateo features. Two main differences from the by person report right off the bat are that by Pateo reports can be run for any accounting period and they can exclude salaries. The account holder by Pateo parameter collection screen asks you to select the organizations, projects, tasks, and awards that you wish to include in the report. Additionally, the report allows for the selection of the accounting period, again one of the two main differences from the by person report. You can run reports going as far back as the fiscal year ending 1999. The account holder allows you to select charging orgs only, charging and owning orgs separately, or charging and owning orgs combined. This parameter is used primarily if you have a program project grant or score grant. In the salaries parameter, you can exclude salaries, which again you cannot do in the by person report. You also have the option of including or excluding non-operating income. Finally, you can select the sections of the report that you'd like to run or run them all. Options are the monthly account summary, trend report, prior and current month detail transactions, and the commitment detail.